It's mind boggling, but our cities have become so crowded that parking spaces, yes, parking spaces, sell for as much as $1 million. Which leads me to this, the all new next generation Smart for Two, a car that measures less than nine feet long and can turn on a dime. So if you live in a place where space is at a premium, the Fort Two can do small like nobody else. Put aside your small car prejudices and tired smart car jokes for a minute and realize that securing a parking space in a big city is a harrowing, not to mention costly reality for millions of Americans. It can be hard to fit in, literally. And just slicing and dicing through congested city streets on a daily basis can give SUV owners a dose of buyer's remorse. This is where smart enters the picture. Built in France through collaboration between parent company Mercedes-Benz and Renault, the Smart for Two arrived stateside in 2008, becoming the 37th country to sell it. Truth be told, I never drove the previous generation model. But this all-new 2016 Ford 2 is much improved upon in ways that even a smart novice can easily identify. The most recognizable, of course, is the Ford 2's more appealing, masculine, and substantial styling. Vehicle length remains the same at 8.8 .8 feet, but kudos to smart designers for taking the look from funny to formidable. The new broad front end looks like it was smacked in the face with a frying pan, one of the rare occasions where that's intended as a compliment. Meanwhile, the combo of black and matte gray body panels, in addition to these matching wheels, advance the virile narrative. Bottom line, it looks cool now and more purpose-built for the urban environment. This is a rear-engine, rear-wheel drive two-seater with proportions that make a Mini look like a midsize. It's four feet shorter than a Cooper. Model highlights include a new turbocharged three-cylinder engine producing 89 horsepower and a fun, easy-to-shift five-speed manual transmission as standard. There is a six-speed dual-clutch automatic available as an option. 100 pound-feet of torque is also significantly more than before, providing much swifter operation. Its 0 to 60 time has been reduced from 13 seconds to 10, even though it's put on a little weight. In smart speak, this is called the Tridian safety cell, while these matte finished body panels are made from ding resistant plastic. Now the entire car weighs less than 2,000 pounds, and with its new turbocharged engine and 5 speed manual, it's actually fun to drive, in a city car kind of way. One of its biggest advantages is its minuscule turning radius, further reduced in this car by another 6 feet, now at 22.8 feet from curb to curb. A narrower front tire with a high outside wheel turn angle, in addition to its obvious small car attributes, allow the 4.2 to turn like your ride-on mower. For some perspective, that's 8 feet smaller than even a Fiat 500. With a chassis configured for gentle understeer, you can spin this car in a tight little circle for as long as you can stand the dizziness. Riding on such a short wheelbase, driving the Ford 2 outside of the urban environment can feel a bit peculiar. The 90 horsepower engine and friendly stick shift, however, provide a spunkiness you can enjoy no matter where you're driving. It's just that turn-in happens a bit faster and it can feel a bit top-heavy in quick maneuvers. I like it though, I really do. Even cruising on the highway at 75 is totally in play. Now the small engine can get a bit noisy when it starts to vibrate, but in general, driving the 4.2 is much like driving any other subcompact. There's just less in tow. The sophisticated non-independent rear suspension with its twin tube shock absorbers and McPherson struts in the front have all been calibrated for greater ride comfort, though you'll still feel a lot of the road over rough city patches. There is an available sport suspension for those who want more engaging handling. I'm 6'1", so you may be surprised to learn that I'm not at all cramped in here. The seating position is high and the roof line is tall. Once you're in, you completely forget that you're actually driving something this small. This car ranks third in the four car, four two lineup. It's called the Prime and it's priced from 18,240. My car adds the Mac gray and heated seats for an as tested price of 18,930. Choosing the manual will cost you 1 MPG, as this car is rated at 32 MPG City 39 Highway, very similar to the previous car. And yes, it still wants premium gas. 
So if all you want is a super frugal small car, you'd be better off looking elsewhere. Safety is always a discussion point here too. Eight airbags are standard, and while this car has yet to be crash tested in the US, the previous model earned the highest level good rating in all categories, with the exception of head restraints and seats, in which it was awarded acceptable. There's some cargo room, but the Smart for Two simply exists for those who need a car with a small footprint and unparalleled maneuverability. And for that, it does a stellar job. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.